Welcome back to Site Tech Intermountain SiteWorks training videos. In this video, I want to show you how to use your SPS 930 or your total station to find out clearance of power lines. We've got a scenario here where they want to know exactly what the clearance is of the lowest line on this big bundle here. They're going to be adding in some power boxes and trenching through here. Now, visibly looking at them, they're pretty high up there, right? But when it comes to high voltage power lines like this, the power company doesn't mess around. So I want to show you how you can just use your total station to do what's called a direct reflect. Instead of trying to put something up in the air here or whatever, I'm just going to do direct reflect where I don't have any targets. No targets on the ground or up above there. But what I did is right below the lowest power line right here, I just kind of eyeballed it the best I could. I put a bottle cap on the ground. It could be anything. And the only reason I do that is just so that I have something I can shoot. It could be a rock. It could be a target, whatever, but it's going to be a direct reflect. What we're going to do is shoot two different types. Just to show you two different ways. One is you can shoot a line string. You can direct reflect from the bottle cap to the power line as a line string and then look at the line string information. The other one is to just shoot two different points and go into Kogo and, and draw the line in between. There's two different ways to do it, uh, but let's go ahead and I'll show you how to do it real quick. Okay, so I've uh, set my data collector up here just on an unknown job site. I don't have any control points. I didn't backside in or arbitrary into anything. The total station doesn't have to be tied to a job site. I dummied in a job site on my data collector here, and I just did a northern easting and elevation, just relative and it's level. Everything's good to go. What you do is go to the guy standing in the top right when you're normally in standing mode. So in standing mode, once you're hooked to a total station, gives you DR averaging, DR, DR scanning, DR target, like if you're going to hit targets, but there's one right in the middle here just called DR, direct reflect. If you go in here, you want to make sure that you don't have a rod height. Leave that at zero because we're just shooting right on those points. There is a minimum distance and a maximum distance. you got to pay attention here. If you are shooting further than the default numbers, change those, but... I'm not shooting any further than the, that 1900 that it shows right there. So we'll just leave that as hit accept. So basically it's in DR mode at this point. What we're going to do is go ahead and hit the roller stuck in the mud icon right here. And I'm going to give it a name though. So maybe right off the bat, I'll do uh, points and then I'll do the line string. So right now point at the top and I'll put uh, the line, just calling it for what it's going to be up there. We don't need a surface. We're just going to do as a feature feature and I don't need to, to show me every time. So once I've got this set, what I'm going to do is if you look through the top of your total station or the very, very bottom right here, you don't have to try to find it right off the bat through looking through here. What you can do is look through these sight pieces right here and I'm just going to go up until I get it right about where I need to through that sight piece and then I'm going to just go ahead and look in there. If you're new to total stations, just this one at the top right here focuses this one right here is going to go up and down on the trunnion and then side to side. You just slowly turn those. If you need the bullseye to come in a little bit tighter, you twist this. Once you've got it where you need to, then you can go ahead and look through. We'll try to see if my camera here will let us look through. But I'm right. It's kind of hard to see, but I, I don't have an emulator for my data or total station. But it is right on it. So once I'm good there, I just come over here and I take the shot. Go out. Boom, took the shot. Now I've got one at the very top right there. Simply just angle down, do the same thing, angle down to the bottom here and get it right on the ground and just zoom in until you hit that bottle cap or whatever you put on the ground. So that's what I've got right there. It's pretty hard to see through here. So I'm on the bottle cap right there. So now I'm going to just come in here and record the, I'll just saw, I'll call it the base. You can name it whatever you want and take the shot. So boom, really we have two shots in there now. So that's one way to do it. The other way is to actually do a line string. So if I go back into my measure type at the top here, I can go to new line and I can just call this whatever, right? Like a, a clearance, we'll just call it clear just so I have an idea of what the line string is and I can change it to a line type just as a line and then hit accept. And while I'm still here on the very bottom, I'll just verify, yep, I'm still on the bottle cap down there at the very bottom. I'll just go ahead and take another shot while I'm there. And then I can take it right back up to the power line or whatever you're trying to shoot as the high point. I'll use this at the top. 
zoom in on the power line, just go right up to the very middle of it or the bottom, whatever, whatever you need to. And then you can zoom in and actually see that it's right on it. And I just take the other shot. So if I zoom way in on this, it's going to be weird because if I hit menu and measure, you're not going to see a long line string horizontally, but it's because it's stacked on each other. But there is two different ones right there. So one way is to just touch and hold on the line string right here. And there's my clear line. If I hit line information, it's going to give me how long that is. Slope, elevation, blah, blah, blah. Basically, it's 31.9 from the bottom to the top there. So I would just tell them 32 feet. So the other way to do it with those two points, if you like to do it that way, is you go into your menu button and you go down to Kogo, short for coordinate and geometry, and the first one, which is review and edit data or review it. At the very top in the top left here is an option called distance between the points. So it's really hard to zoom in and actually just click it because you may actually free click to the side of it and it won't tell you. What I suggest you do is go into your menu button at the top right right here and in here is the different points. So right there is the base. So I'm gonna just leave it on base and then what I'm gonna do is go into the menu and I'm gonna go to line, which are my two different points. So you know for sure that it basically got it right on. And you can see I've got basically the same number right there. My vertical distance is 31.9. So there's just two ways to do it. My favorite way is just to do it once and just shoot a line string from bottom to top or top to bottom and then go to line string information. But doing it with points is also an option. And you can do this for vertical. You can do it for horizontal. Just knowing how to use your total station, thinking outside the box is what I call it. Well, thinking outside the box and thinking inside the box, both ways. Just use your equipment for what it's there for. And that's what these videos are intended for. So thank you for watching this video from Sight Tech Under Mountain, SightWorks training videos on using your SPS 930 to find the clearance elevation of power lines.